everybody welcome to the baguette investor channel for a new video so today i want to make a video about again another sector that's looking very good i hope you find those interesting i want to talk about lithium uh, you know that all commodities are really really in a very strong bull market but i find something that yesterday and today there is something happening with lithium so i think it's very interesting for me to talk about this so uh, this is the only stock i own on lithium because um, there was first a, a big trend that happened and now we're trying to find a continuation of the trend um, i bought this stock around there on the breakout that you can see here i don't know if you clearly see what i mean you had this resistance there and i played this breakout right there um, the breakout did not happen um, right away there was the volume there was the big beautiful configuration the only thing is that the sector was not in an impulsive phase so uh, the price consolidated and it broke out yesterday with amazing volume so I'm hoping this will lead to a bigger trend as this is a small cap uh, lithium miner well this is more um, this is a small cap of uh, 735 million uh australian dollars because this one is listed on the australian stock exchange so um there are other companies that look like this that are on the uh, lithium space uh, but first we're going to check the sectorial indexes about lithium let me find my list right there so i have two indexes that i am looking this is remx which is the vanek rare earth and strategic metals there are some lithium stocks that are into this so you clearly see that we had a first configuration of a uh, small base just like we had on uranium this is much very similar but we had a much stronger uptrend rather than on uranium and now we're trying to break above this area right there we need to break above but we retested this huge level of the previous uh, 2018 level very interesting so we have to find the other index which is LIT this is global X lithium and battery technology so this has a much f a more or more focused on a battery um, electrical vehicles technology but it has also also a little bit of lithium in it and you can see that this index is looking crazily bullish and that where we see that the impulsion that we had is in, is happening at the bottom of this range and if this index <coughs> breaks above i think things could get very very beautiful for lithium so um there are very very specific stocks that i'm watching on lithium if you're interested into seeing them well uh, i have some over here so i believe um over there i have some so I don't believe this is lithium. This is lithium, for example. Livent Corp. Maybe it is. You can see it. It products battery grade lithium hydroxide. So you can see these stocks are looking quite beautiful when you look at them on a very um, relative basis. But if you look at them on the sector, they look even more beautiful because if the whole sector is in an impulsion, that looks very gorgeous. Uh, RCK is also a lithium company listed in Canada. You can see that these kind of stocks are making new all-time highs. This one is breaking out of this little structure with volume. You can see that th this week the volume is coming into the market. There is really something happening here. Um, there we have Oro Cobra, European Lithium. These are very, very small caps. This is the one I own frontier lithium you can see we have the same kind of pattern um on this little bottom structure very interesting stock also this um millennial lithium this one has a very small cap character because you can see this huge base uh asking to make an all-time high and you can also see the volume coming in huge uh lithium stocks really have something happening uh, american rare earth this is more than a lithium noram lithium corporation listed on tsx um infinity lithium this is not lithium this is standard lithium ltd very interesting stock uh, i found that it's also listed on the um 
American stocks exchange. So I'm going to show the American stock exchange chart. Very, very good looking. Uh, I want I want to enter on this, but I don't know if I should enter on the weekly or on the daily. But in the case, because of this sector is not in a crazy good impulsion, I'm going to wait for the weekly to close and I'm going to put a limit order so I get the retest. For now, I'm just waiting for it to uh, close above this level, but I think it will because the market is just showing a lot of strength. I have others right there. Uh, Arena Minerals, um, I believe it is lithium. It's a lithium and copper exploration and development company. You can see that it it's it has a very, very strong momentum breaking out of all time high. I mean, this candle is like, it's it, it's 80, 95%. So it already doubled in terms of market cap. So it's a little bit too late to buy this one. So I'm gonna remove it from the list. Never mind, but it looked very good. Um, WML Wealth Minerals. This is also listed in the Canadian Stock Exchange, and I recall it's lithium. It's uh, lithium, precious metals, and copper. Yeah, it's a worldwide stock. It's it it, uh, it has uh, operations in many many different parts of the world. But you can see that these stocks look very very good, and they can go up very very fast. What well, just like you saw during the commodity mar bull market in uh, 2000, 2008. So there you go. Uh, pay attention to lithium. There might be something very interesting to play on it. If you're interested in the stocks that I uh, watch, you can ask me in the comments to put the list. If you ask me in the comments, I will put my list. If you don't ask me, I won't put the list. Anyway, this is my sectorial video of the week. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.